The person that thought of Windows 11 is the same type of person that thinks switching from Coke to Diet Coke will help him lose weight. The type of person that takes the stairs instead of the elevator once a day and calls it exercise. The type of person that, you get the point. Windows has been around for a really long time. In those 40 years, they've had some ups, some downs, and then they created this Grand Canyon they call Windows 11. The worst part is, Microsoft knows it's a problem. When they release their number of active users on their OS, they combine the numbers of Windows 10 and 11. Yes, 1.4 billion users is a lot, but you know the company is hiding something when the only thing they say about Windows 11 is that they're delighted by the response. If I were to guess, I would say that they're struggling quite a bit, and here's why. People hate Windows 11. We have to make this very clear. It's not all the major changes that people hate, it's the little things they change that make the entire experience inconvenient and flat out annoying at times. For example, in Windows 10, you could right click a file on your desktop and every option you need would be right in front of you. That's amazing, right? Well, Microsoft thought our little brains couldn't handle that many words on the screen at once, so they decided to take all but five of those options away and then make us click a show more options button to see the rest of them. They have you covered though. They added pictures instead of words on the menu just to make it easier for our simple-minded selves. Also, they rounded out the corners of most of the menus so when you slip and smash your head into your screen, we won't crack our skulls open on the corner of the menus. Thanks, Microsoft. At least they care about our physical well-being, but we also know they don't care about our mental well-being because they completely took away the show desktop button on the bottom right of the screen. You know, I kind of enjoy manually minimizing all the windows I have open on my computer to get to the desktop. Taking that button away doesn't only make it annoying to get to your desktop in a reasonable amount of time, it also makes it a lot more difficult to drag files onto your desktop. If you want to drag a file to Chrome, Photoshop, or even your desktop, you really can't. The only way to do it in Windows 11 is either minimizing all your tabs or to have multiple monitors, or simply just split-screening your applications. This is only the beginning of the dumb changes they've made. You know that menu that pops up when you hit the start button, the one that's nicely tucked away in the bottom left corner? Yeah, they put it dead in the middle of the screen, and they made it a lot bigger. Another quick thing to note, if you want all your apps, you need to click another button to get there, because you know, Windows 10 made that way too easy. At least they didn't mess with the taskbar. Wait, you actually can't mess with the taskbar. You want your taskbar on the top or side of the screen like you've been doing for the past five years? Nope. As you would expect, they also limit the choice of the icon size as well. Now it's just small, medium, and large. So far, these changes have been really annoying, but not outright dumb. Until now. Windows 11 requires a certain list of newer CPUs to run correctly. On top of that, AMD CPUs specifically run into bottlenecking problems, even though it's been over a year since the beta. But don't worry, it gets worse. Windows 11 forces you to have a TPM 2.0 encryption to actually work. TPM is a trusted platform module that allows for increased security features. This is a big problem because a lot of older motherboards don't have this feature. When you pile all the stuff on top of each other and add the fact that Windows 11 has high memory usage on startup, they want you to upgrade your entire PC. What makes this all the more frustrating is that we didn't need Windows 11 in the first place. A new operating system is supposed to be, well, new. All this is is a worse reskin version of something that they released in 2015. Windows 11 is like going to Chipotle and then being out of everything besides white rice and chicken. You know there's so much more to be had, but you just can't get it. Well, at least I can just stay on Windows 10. Motherfucker.